Hey, it's Hawkin with Top Don, and today we're going to do a short video just giving you kind of a update on the Top Don T-Ninja box. So for those of you who are not familiar, the T-Ninja box brings a number of advanced features to all of Top Don's professional series tools. So if you purchase the T-Ninja box, uh, which of course is a separate addition to the, uh, to the Top Don line, uh, basically, what it will do for you is add the ability to program a wide variety of European vehicle keys, as well as do all keys lost functions on a number of European vehicles. Uh, you will also be able to uh, do module cloning, read and write EEPROM data and MCU data on a number of different chips. So we are going to show you just kind of all of the different uh, coverages that you can find in the tool. Uh, when you have your T-Ninja box connected to the, uh, the dongle, so here's the T-Ninja box right here. When you connect this in series with the dongle, as the tool instructs you to, you can actually view all of the coverage live on the tool without being connected to a vehicle or to a module itself. So that's something that's kind of nice because then if you're curious, hmm, have they added new features? Or is there more coverage? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we can always log in and look at that information without being connected live to a module or a vehicle. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to screencast on the Phoenix Max because that happens to be the easiest tool to screen record. Um, but important to keep in mind that on the T-Ninja box, it is actually compatible with not only the Phoenix Max, the Phoenix Smart, the Phoenix Elite, the Phoenix Remote, the Phoenix Plus, and the Phoenix Lite 2, as well as the Phoenix Pro. So actually a wide variety of compatibility with all of the Top Don line series uh, professional tools. So it doesn't really matter which one of the tools you have, scan tool wise, you will still be able to take advantage of all of the features of the T-Ninja box. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and switch over to the screen on the Max so we can walk you through some of the added functionality that we now have on the T-Ninja box as of July 2023. All right, so we are over on the Phoenix Max here. And when we're on the main page of the Phoenix Max, we basically want to go into the Services menu. And that is where you will find this functionality on all of the tools. So it doesn't matter whether we're talking about the Phoenix Max or we are talking about any of the other tools I previously mentioned. The functionality is all found in the IMMO PROG section. So we are on the current version, which is 10.83. We're going to hit OK. OK. We're going to go ahead and use Bluetooth here is what we're using. OK. And we're going to use Bluetooth communication. There's our dongle. We're going to connect. So now it tells us we need to have our T-Ninja box connected in series with the provided cables uh, to the dongle itself. So we're going to do that. And you do have to have a good, strong internet connection while using the T-Ninja box. So now we can see right here is where we're going to see all of the features uh, related to T-Ninja box with the exception of key related functions. So key related functions can be found in the IMMO section as well as in some sections here. Uh, you can also access those within the various vehicle manufacturer menus. So if we are doing a Volkswagen or Audi, we may find the key related functions within the vehicle menu as opposed to in this section right here. So we're just going to walk through these one by one. We're not going to go into any level of depth. We just want to give you kind of a preview of the common manufacturers and various products that the T-Ninja box now covers as of 2023, July. So here are all of the various chip manufacturers of EEPROMs. Uh, that are available coverage wise and we're not going to go into every one of these but if we go into some of them we will be able to see some of the common families of chips that you can read and write data from so as you can see there's quite a big long list here so this basically what this means is if you are able to make the connection directly to any of these EEPROM chips that are covered you should be able to read the data and then write the data to another EEPROM chip 
uh, that is identical on another module. So again, here is your overview of all of the brands. And again, if you want to go into each specific one, you are more than welcome to do that. But there is a great deal of coverage you see on all of these. And we'll kind of blaze through them real quick here just so you can see. And there you go. So that's all of the EEPROM chips that are covered by the tool as of July 2023. Now let's go in and look at the engine coverage. So here are the three distinct engine control module manufacturers uh, that we are looking at with regards to possible cloning options. So you see here we have these distinct module groups covered, the top four here. And then we also have a Bosch number search feature which allows you to type in a Bosch module part number. So we'll see a little picture. So you can pull this number right off of the Bosch module and type it in. And in some cases, you will also see additional coverage that is not necessarily listed in the main module groups, as you see here, the four that are just primarily listed. Now we'll look at Siemens. So here are all of the different engine control modules that you see listed for Siemens. So if it is any of these, you should be covered, no problem, on the tool. So again, this will allow us to read and write and copy the data from a U, uh, original module to a used module, a donor module. And then here are all of the Delco coverages. So any of these designation engine control modules should be fully clonable using the software and the T-Ninja box. So that's our ECM coverage there. Now we're going to go to Gearbox. The tool is just doing some updates in the background, so don't mind that. So now we can look at any individual vehicle manufacturer to see what kind of coverage we have. So let's do VW Audi first. So we can see there's quite a big long list of transmissions which are covered by the cloning software now. We'll go over to Porsche. Here are the Porsche modules or models that are covered. Here's Mercedes-Benz. Here's Infiniti. Here's Nissan. Here's Bentley. We're going to skip over Alpina. We're just going to go BMW. Chrysler, Dodge, which you would expect to be the same, of course, Jaguar, Land Rover, and again, we're just going to go through the major manufacturers. Here's Rolls-Royce, Alfa Romeo. Aston Martin. So you can see many of those are the ZF manufactured transmissions. Let's look at Jeep. There's Jeep. And look at Maserati. Again, ZF manufactured transmissions there. Hyundai. Kia. We'll scroll down here. Here's Ford. So actually quite a few, including the DPS-6, which is a very common uh, transmission that needs replacement. So not a big surprise there. Uh, General Motors. And General Motors is obviously a very key one at this point, as there are a very large number of General Motors transmissions that now have the uh, system essentially blocks you from using a used module. So having coverage on these is extremely valuable. I'll go back down our list here, see if we missed any other key ones. We'll check Volvo. There's Volvo. And again, we're not going to go through every single one of them. And there's Lincoln. 
So now we're going to look at SCM, or what these would be referred to as MCU. So here are the various coverages for the Freescale manufactured chips. Here is the Renesis. Here is the NXP. So those are your coverages on MCU chips. And then you do have some additional functions here. You have the data comparison function, which allows you to look at two different files side by side to verify that the contents are in fact uh, identical, which is obviously a good feature. Now again, remember, if we wanted to look at anything key related, we can go back and look at that information on the main page. Uh, in the IMMO section. So this is where you would find additional key related information as well as within the vehicle specific software. So here is a bunch of the different vehicles that there is some or a great deal of coverage depending on the manufacturer. Again, primarily the coverage you're going to get here that's going to work well is going to be European. You may see some listings for some other vehicle manufacturers like uh, Chrysler or GM or things like that. By and large, the coverage is very limited on the American-made vehicles, um, but it is always good to go in here and check with your T-Ninja box connected to see what you might have access to regarding total functions. So again, just wanted to walk through the basics on some of the updated coverage on the T-Ninja box software. That's Remember, with your T-Ninja box, you can make use of all of the features we've shown here in the video with any of the Top Don Professional Series tools. That, of course, includes the Phoenix Max, the Phoenix Remote, the Phoenix Smart, the Phoenix Elite, the Phoenix Lite 2, the Phoenix Plus, and the Phoenix Pro. So any of those scan tools paired with the T-Ninja box will allow you to access these functions. And again, remember the T-Ninja box provides all of these coverages with regards to module cloning, as well as programming a number of European vehicle-specific keys, including performing all keys lost functions on a number of vehicles. So, just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch our video today. Hope you learned something, and uh, hope you get an opportunity to use your T-Ninja box for some of the functions that we've shown you here. If you do have questions, you can always reach out to our support for assistance. We're glad to help you if we can. And again, please subscribe to the channel and watch all of our videos if you get a chance. Again, I'm Hawken, and thanks for watching today.